Hello, I'm William Oliver Watkins, and I'm originally from Cincinnati, Ohio, Midwest, yes. I would say that it really started when I was five, and my parents introduced me to the VCR, and the first movie they introduced me to was Star Wars. I and my brother Chris, uh, younger brother Chris, watched that movie probably two or three times a week from the time we were uh, five and four until the time I was, well, uh, uh, my last birthday. The last time uh, I was at Denver was a couple years ago. We were doing a play called Ruin, Pulitzer Prize winning play. I played uh, Kisimbe, who is an African warlord, which is basically a thug. Uh, one place that we did go that I really enjoyed, uh, uh, Tattered Cover, which was so fun to, uh, to just hang out and, uh, and relax and, and read. Uh, and also we went to, I can't remember the name of it, but there was a roller rink. And I haven't gone roller skating since I was a, a child. And I was like, I'm doing this. If you don't mind being a little lightheaded every now and then, it's, it's one of the best places to work in the world, I'd say. Morgan Freeman is one of my all-time heroes. Uh, I'll play anything, his son, his, you know, his butler, whatever. If I could do anything, I would make a chip and implant it into every human being's brain when they were a baby that would cause them to feel how their actions make the person they're acting to feel. So it's not necessarily, you know, about intention. Sometimes you don't mean to hurt somebody, but when you can feel how they feel, you go, oh, that's what, how, what I did make them feel. And I think it would be impossible for the world not to be better if that was true. Okay, don't get me wrong, for the younger generation, you know, the episode one, two, three, oh, fine, thank you, but for me, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi is Star Wars, and uh, I can't get enough of it. <laughs> we've, we've started a Star Wars throw. Yes, we started a Star Wars fight. That's it.